Uh, I'm Tyson Juma. I'm 23 years old, just turned 23. I'm a 100 meters uh, sprinter. Nileza liwa Thika, place nito Makongeni. And then uh, grew up in Thika Kiasi, uh, then moved to Shags. So Niko Mindo last one, family of uh, six, but we sit Mindo last one. Uh, my other brothers pia wanacheza karate, na sistangu pia wanacheza karate, so Mindo nafanya a different sport. Those sistangu pia alikuwa na sprint, alikuwa sprint hapa quite a while, then I carried back to karate. I was a sports fan. I was a kimbia, I was a footballer. Those say you know, just the times I was a kid, I was very serious. Sana. So I can pass it to us. My first born, my second born brother, I chose karate. My sister, I'm going to play boxing. I can't watch. My brother, I'm going to play karate and football. I chose agor kiasi. And then uh, sister, I'm going to Mwenye nafuata, nda mcheza sports kadhaa na zote ya medominate, mito Joyce Juma, na she is my mentor also. So, but growing up, I, I grew up in sports, juu kila mtu alikuwa kwa sports. So, mini last born, out of six, wame niyacha na mbeka gap, ya mbeka mob sana. Like, mwenye nafuata, wame niyacha na 10 years. <laughs> so, unawana growing up and uh, watching my brothers kusikia, brother kodi champe, so... Ilikuwa sporting family na most of the time ilikuwa training. Hata wakitoka shule, they train together. Uh, so ilikuwa tu training, training, sports, 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 sports. And eventually ilikuwa wameki ya life. Last time ilikuwa uh, kuwatch my brother and my sister. Walikuwa wameanda African Games. So ilikuwa hapa kasarani. Uh, walikuwa camp. So it was, ilikuwa nanipatia kadrina ni nfladi because you are kila mtu ana shout eh hey, Eriko Joyce and na mimi niko hapo eh hey, kwanza mjue vile brother yake <laughs> eh hey, nataka ile eh hey, nilikuwa napenda hiyo feeling and growing up nimekuwa na ile i'm looking up to them because uh, wamefanya poa na pia wanani wanani motivate because hiyo time pia mimi nilikuwa nafanya sports nilikuwa nacheza futa so eh hey, pia mimi na ganga na football na mjue brother yangu anacheza national team so it was a pride nilikuwa pride na nilikuwa na feel very proud kwa part of uh, the support system your time. Uh, Kinyilifaya nikenda masinde mulilo sana <coughs> ilikuwa rugby. Now I used to play rugby from high school. Uh, after after high school ilo umekao na ngojia results I'm playing for Shamas rugby in Nairobi. I really wanted to play rugby at a university. So nikangalia ni unigani wasi wanacheza rugby na wanacheza na heart. By that time, most of the people who were in the world were able to come to the nationwide level. Club which Psalms 23:4, it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, you are rod and you are strapped, they comfort me. Na walikuwa na cheza poa sana they beat KCB. So mimi nikasikia kuna hii team ya mavijana. Nimepiga mpaka KCB. I want to go there. So luckily tukicheza sevens one of the coaches wa Masinde Muliro akani sport. Nilifika most uh sikuwa na anything kwenda kufanya most honestly. But I wanted to go to school. Sikuwa nime pass poa sana uh KC KCSE KC, KCSE. Yeah. So Iyo time nilikuwa nataka tu, at least ni pia, pia niende shule na nikapata, kufika most, uh, nika apply course. Nimefika tu hata sijui, sina mali pa kuka, sina hata, hata sijui ni wapi. Uh, I think nilipata na uyo coach yo jioni, kapuna ni aje, nimekuja. Haka uh, nipeleka kwa bishite flani, hali ni host, for quite a while. Uh, nika apply uh, disaster management course, nika fanya sat for one year. Uh, then tena nika apply a diploma nika fanya for two years. Just for me to do rugby. Just for me to do rugby. Do. Pia nilikuwa napenda hiyo spirit ya, ya Masinde Muliro. We won so many matches. Na kila time nilikuwa najipata top scorer. In fact, tena nikina most siku na scholarship. Wali nipatia scholarship after summer. Na hey, ukijana, ukijana me push push. Nimemaliza, <coughs> we went for championship. Uh, then to Kenya Cup. Nona ilikuwa... 
jari pia ingine massive na iwa sema ni mehavu ni kioma masinge mbundia. Rugby ilikuwa kama everything to me because ni mecheza sasa kama seven years. Seven years playing rugby from high school to clubs still in high school playing for clubs uh, then from uh, the lowest level of rugby which is a ndogo kena nationwide level going to the championship levels and then going to the Kenya Cup level to compete uh, at top athletes in the country nimekuwa jani poa sana na ni one of the sports nilikuwa nasema i thought ingenipatia my bread because before injury ndo time sasa nilikuwa at my peak hiyo ndo time sana nilikuwa nimeanza kushare in rugby Maybe this year ngekuwa kwa national team ya rugby na travel but it come it come short. Hiyo ni feeling nikikumbuka huyo ni unaitwa machozi at times. Na new feel hapo ndo mali sasa nilijua Mungu ni mku and God can do can save your life unaweza panaweza kupatia second chance. Juu before hiyo game hata nilikuwa nimetrain for so long na nilikuwa nimetoka after covid nilikuwa nimetrain hiyo time nasema like life yangu yote ya sports naweza sema hiyo ndo time nilikuwa nimetrain to my max training like three times a day uh, nilikuwa na partner anaitwa Klaus so huyo ndo alini alinijenga jenga we train gym twice uko grow people are home mimi nimebaki Kakamega uh, kila mtu ameenda nyumbani So most of the time mimi nilikuwa na train na uko si home catch si home but I'm na na train So coming to the game na tuna train for only one match una imagine una train kila siku for seven months for only one game game moja tu yenye mna need ku qualify muende Kenya Cup na mimi I really wanted it so bad because uh, team pia na kuangalia wewe pia unataka ku push team at least pia mcheze ile Kenya Cup level mali mnaona gatua tu tu anacheza Kenya Cup ni mjafika hapo so nilikuwa nime train sana 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 till i was ready to give up everything for for that one match i remember at a before a day before your game nilikuwa naambia teammates itabidi tume push even if i we have to get injured ama we have to die in this pitch my guys lazima tufike fine lazima tuende Kenya Cup After Cup, and that time after covid ilikuwa if you don't qualify for the Kenya Cup you are not going to play for the next year like na imagine tuna excuse kama boys tunakaa tuna imagine mwaka mmoja ingine tutakaa tu tukiangaliana ile urambi atucheza angi uh, it was uh, ilikuwa mbaya sana most si uko na bondings every friday if you have a game on saturday hiyo friday coach ana twitter na mimi nilikuwa nakaa kwa coach nilikuwa nakaa kwa coach hapo So alikuwa na Twitter hiyo hiyo fr- Friday evening we have a bonding session tunakula tunajipikia food hapo tunaambishi tuna chat tunaongelea game So the time nilikuwa I think I knew we were going to win na nilikuwa nataka tu ku give everything everything I had It was a tough side to go to play against uh, Min Machine and it was not an easy side lakini kila mtu alikuwa amejitolea you could feel the spirit kila mse kila mtu anaidai na mimi nikiwa hapo mimi I wanted it like so bad because I had trained na hiyo ndo time nilisafa kwa maisha yangu hiyo ndo time I think nili uh, nilikuwa na the, 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 the worst time of my life naweza sema yenye naweza kumbuka for seven months I think those guys pia walikuwa meni walikuwa nani target sana because every time nashika tu mpira ni it was hard unaingia contact utasikia tu kangumi ime land pop so but I was ready to take it mimi hata sikuwa nasikia So first half game wame tupiga iko 9 iko 90. Mafans wa home crowd imejaa imai wasa rashangaa what's happening. And then nikapata my first try from a kick. Chess chess chess. Pop. 7-0. 7-9. Mafans wameamka wasa wamebambika rush imepanda hata mimi nasikia bus god. Yenyewe nime come close to what I really wanted for seven months nime try nime score one try hiyo ile ni kwanza ile ilirudisha wa kila mtu game because tumepigwa 9-0 tuko home na mpaka unaona wasi wana deep but after i scored that try uliona tu studio ameingia kwa kiwanja imekuwa tu imerudisha ime game back to life kwa kwa rugby ni twa rack racking the ball uko down umeplace ball to your side then 
sikujua venye ili happen but nilisikia tu ni kama an impact ilikuwa kama goti mtali niingia kwa kichwa straight to the head sikusikia unajua hiyo time una score so ujasikia nimepigwa nimeamka bado naomba ball i want to score as i want to score so after some uh, 40 seconds hivi kulikuwa na breakdown nikasikia kichwa ime blood nimesikia nika unasikia tu kichwa imekuwa mzito you want to fall uh, bado sikutaka kutoka nje so watu wa nje walikuwa wameona physios from outside had seen um say me crack but siko nataka kutoka jo ile i was really feeling it kuna sema nime train for 7 months mzee kuja kuangusha tu hapa sasa hii zi i didn't knew it was serious i have to some one and a half minutes hivi kakuwa mbaya singeona nasikia macho yamekuwa mzito ni kainua tu mko anasema siko sawa then nilitoka nje kukaa like 5 minutes wow nasema nikipata hiyo feeling nasikia tu vi hata sasa hii nasikia tu mwili inachemka juu sijawahi sikia hivyo sijawahi sikia ni unafungua macho lakini uone kitu yote una feel tu ni kama imeisha but still nataka pia wasi wetu wa win because wana come from uh, wako nyuma then they scored uh, waka think another try so tume level up at least unasikia fit but still mimi siwezi ona nasikia tu news uh, nika nilingangana nilingangana nikaka hapo nje mpaka game ikaisha at least nilisikia po but hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua nimeumia hivyo even the team hata hata coaches unajua watu wako wamefocus na game so mimi pia nime decide tu mahali huko nime nangoja tu hii game ishi nisikie tumeshinda hiyo ndio kinikuwa nataka peke yake nisikie tu wenyewe next year bado watu watacheza bado nitacheza hata kama sijui situation ya kichwa itakuwaaje so after a game two immediately nikakuwa rush to hospital si kwanza nikapelekwa nitagua scan nikapelekwa scan uh, then huyo ni daktari alikuwa arudi aisome kwa hospitali na nilikuwa nimelazwa so back to the hospital wakasema hiyo night miss kwa nasikia vitu mob juu ilifika mahali as time went nilikuwa nasikia uwezi fungua macho unasikia tu unaonaisha plus madawa nilikuwa nimepatiwa zilikuwa so strong so uh, nilikuja kuambiwa tu kesho <laughs> the thing naweza kumbuka na ndio kitu wewe inani inanipatia hopes to live again and again na kuishi kama sasa mimi ni dakika mwisho usiku sasa uh, i was with my girlfriend kwa kitanda yeye alinipeleka hata hospital tulikuwa nae all this time so nimekaa ndo kitanda unasikia kuna nasa alikuwa hapo siko nasikia vizuri nimefunga macho mi niko tu nakumbuka huyo nasa aliniuliza uh, next of king Jojo umelala wewe hiyo time kichwa inauma. Jojo sasa ndo time unasikia pain vizuri uko after game. So unasikia ananiuliza next of king. Yeye na na response nilimpatia. Sijui nilikuwa nalia hiyo time. I think I was crying kamuliza, "Eh hey, daktari, kwani nakufa? Mzee kwani am I dying? Sita survive?" Jojo ndo mtu akuuliza hiyo mimi nilikuwa nishajua najiambia ni kama mimi yangu imeisha. Because pain pia nilikuwa nasikia ilikuwa unbearable nikamuuliza eh kwani nakufa from hapo sikusikia kitu kingine tena nilienda hivyo straight to sleep uh, mpaka asubuhi asubuhi naamka pia my girlfriend alikuwa na mimi uh, asubuhi anaamka kapiga nduru uh, kulikuwa na damu kwa kitanda so ni kama hiyo nilikuwa nimeinjectiwa water na i think ilikuwa antibiotic so ni kama blood tena kaanza kutoka nje so atuko yeye alipiga duru ndio mimi nikaamka amemuuliza eh ridhi ni mbaya yeye ameona blood so alikuwa nadhani labda nilienda i don't know alikuwa nafikiria aje but nilipata blood kwa kitanda imeja hiyo side nilikuwa nimelala pata tu hiyo injury immediately hata sikuka the next day after sai because after siku moja hivi nilikuwa nilikuwa sawa nikajiambia ah kwa sana nimeamka mabeshi wamekaa teammates wamekaa hapo wamekuchangamsha ah uko fit ya yeah. and then daktari akaniambia uh, it's just a depression si ija break ni kichi imebondeka tu wakasema oh, okay sawa hata kaka kaka anambia hii utacheza but after hiyo after two that hiyo siku moja siku ya pili nikaanza kuota of how fast i was unaona unakaa hivi kidogo nafikiria tu you're fast 
you're fast. Athletics, unafikiria sprint, sprint. Siko unajua kitu yote labda kuhusu sprint. Hata siko unajua kuna kuna manyala nini. Yes I knew kuna sprint, but because Kenya iko inajulikana sana na I was so much into rugby. Siku 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 fikiria kitu yote. Iko chongo, iko chongo liko hapo kaniambia we, we relax, relax. Because mimi nili feel ni kama nime lose kitu nimekuwa nikifanya for so long nimekuwa nikifanya rugby for seven years ukiona ile dream unajua kila kila athlete when you're working kuna ile dream uko nayo you want to be a rugby seven superstar or you want to be among the best rugby players ever because i was capable of that so ku feel nime lose kitu yote na siku moja na ndio time nilikuwa nime train to my fullest nilikuwa nime train na hiyo time nilikuwa big nilikuwa nime nilikuwa nime train nilikuwa nime train so ni, ni kama nili, nilikuwa naweza sema aje ni anxiety ama nini unasikia tu no no plus mimi ni mtu wa sports na fi, i just wanted my life to be hapa kwa sports so time narudi na, na kuangalia magazeti so kila time niko peke yangu naingia ya internet na angalia umekuwa mkisema nini kuhusu every time i saw my name on the on the newspapers they used to say the speed star na get kwa kila kwa kila article nilosema nimeandika the speed star if i scored a try or asema the speedy winger so nikajiambia okay i'm fast yes kwa hiyo ina mimi mwenyewe na try kujicomfort kujiambia hata kama anaenda sprint sijui kuna kaje huko but mimi najua mimi ni huyo msiti and for uh, the university's uh, western conference after so you know time nikapigia coach nikapigia sister yangu nikamwambia hey sis me want to sprint but because he alikuwa sha sprint before akaniambia ni sawa wewe kama umeamua hiyo hata hiyo hata sasa iko sawa akaniambia huko sasa hata bro hapo hata uta make life so sister yangu ndiye alini encourage your time akaniambia wewe kama kaanza kunitumia nguo za 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 ku sprint sprint and to me by cash shots anambia afanye hiyo then i met the coach uh nitoka coach wa home she is a friend to my sister akakuwa ananitumia program so mimi niko kaka mega yako Nairobi anatumia tu program mimi nafuata program na mtumia video. Mbe hapa coach iko aje? Iko hiyo. To the AK, my first AK was uh, Nyayo. Nyayo Stadium the first AK meet. Na nilikuja hata nika nikaeka 107. Nikaeka 107 nilifika semi final. Nili miss final just by kidogo tu. But I think yule nilipatia nja nja ya kurudi ku train sana kabisa. But coach wangu alikuwa so proud. My sister was so proud because hata aliniambia kuna watu wamekaa kwa hiyo kiwanja 5 years waje igonga hata hiyo time na na wewe umekaa hapo umetrain tu ushagube kuja hapo umechafua see so kila time au ni motivate jua na wanaelewa situation pia niko so ili nipatia nikarudi nika train train then uh, my second k my second k was uh, at kisumu kisumu nikaenda nikapiga hand time ya 10 5 lakini ninaambiwa hizo zisiambiwa wangu. <laughs> so nikafika finali pia. So from Kisumu three weeks ago nika train train train. Uh, then the, the third meet at Nyayo Stadium. Sapo nilikuwa nimekuja nikijua lazima nishikishe hii time. Kila every every day I train, every time I train, I try to cut ku, down the times. So Nyayo Stadium nika nikashinda hii semi za hapo nikaingia nikapiga time ya 10 5 9. Eh uh, nilifurahia because at least from 1079 umeshuka sasa kwa 105. Naona umeshuka uko umepiga 1079 umekuja umepiga 1059. So ni kitu pia motivating na pia coach anasema unajua kuna hiyo coach lazima feel improvement kwa mtu ana train. Ananiambia hapo sasa iko sawa. So kazi ni tizi tu. I th- I, na nilikam ku understand it's all about hard work ile difference ya rugby na, na athletics nakwambia uko ni hard work hakuna 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 shortcut there's no shortcut if i was to do a 120 meters ama hill work ya 220 meters wewe ukiipiga 200 usahau hizo 20 meters wewe jua tu you know you know going to win the race in mind just tell yourself you don't if you don't complete the workout there's no way you're going to win hapa kuna uh, lazima reward yako hapa ni hard work how hard you train how hard you una dedicate uh, time yako kwa training so si kama rugby ati tuko kwa kiwanja watu 15 ule anaweza enda uko asko oh baki tu hapo uko ume, ume chill ama umemaliza 15 minutes hata ujashika ball umeelewa hapa if you don't it's uh, like 10 seconds of your life if you don't give it your all 
hakuna mtu anakupatia since the weekend nilikuwa nataka ku, ku lower down my personal best na niliachieve hiyo of which ilikuwa plus kwangu na ikafika finals na kwa hiyo finali yote mimi peke yake ndo nilikuwa uh, an individual hao wengine wote ni they have been here for the longest time and uh, ilikuwa so motivative ili, ili ni patia a plus motivation kuniambia wenyewe utaanzia hapa kuna hiyo growth i can feel the growth in myself eh na naweza kusema it's going somewhere sio kuna a lot of events kuna major championships kuna africa championship kuna commonwealth games kuna world eh, kuna africa university unasisahau hizo kuna africa universities zitakuwa kenya hapo nitakuwa nitakuwa ndadi na lazima nishinde uh, i think pia kuna world universities so hopefully pia uh, ndamake kwenda huko ready nime make time ya kwenda nime make uh, time ya kwenda world universities so it's upon sasa shule na na performance yangu sasa ku ku, ku determine kama nitaenda ama nitakuwa tu hapo i remember hiyo time nilikuwa catch mimi nilikuwa niko kakamega i'm training and then you know for your dreams to come true honestly kama wewe ni msoa sports lazima ukuwe Nairobi hiyo ndo challenge pia most of the athletes wanapitia wenye wako wako out of Nairobi ju facilities ziko hapa competitions mobs ziko huku so nikiwa 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 home nilikuwa na, nimeingia youtube sana angalia ak akina nani wanakimbianga huku so nikapata na sura manyala hapo ikaangalia eh umsi anafanana na mimi somehow ju hata wacha wasa wananiita hapo manyala nikiwa napiga mamilima huko ah manyala sana wanadhani na manyala wao wamerudi ushago <laughs> <laughs> na mimi nakubali tu eh eh sawa eh viti ukipita stage sasa ukienda kakamega hapo ulirambia mzima upite hiyo area atakwambia eh ndio huo ndio huo manyala wetu hapa ara yeye akienda huko mimi niende huko atamwambia eh huo si tunajua huyu so ili ni motivate sana by the way because i saw i saw myself in somebody i saw myself in in fadi kona umse eh, ni mimi miaka tatu mbele Uh, coming down nili trace mpaka video zake za kwanza umse alianzia wapi umse ilikuwa aje eh? nikasoma rugby nini nikaangalia video zake za kwanza uh, progress yake imekuwaje believe yake niko na huni umse tunafanana so ni best ya sister yangu pia kuuliza sister yangu wewe unajua umse tuka link i think tuka meet mara ya kwanza hakuwa ananijua hata tulipatana hapa kasa amsalimia tu yote ile alikuwa busy busy unajua being the fastest man uh, utasalimia tu wasi lakini utataka kujua maybe kila mtu ni nani alinigotea tu akaishia then tukakuja tumekuwa na yeye na session na yeye so mimi hata ku train na yeye nilipatia a very big uh, a motivation na kuniambia you're coming close to what you want because back in the days a year ago nilikuwa namuona tu kwa youtube bila niko catch na cheki umse youtube na una progress zake na angalia race zake na angalia training yake na angalia nje and then una come a year later una train huo umse na ana kupush training na ana feel yenyewe pia umse yako kando wangu pia si eti ni mraisi i get uh, uh, we had a session two weeks ago a week up before twende race na i think ndo pia ili nipatia ili ni ili ni drive sana ku come kuweka hii personal best ya 105 ili ni push ili niambia ni train na yeye kasike yenyewe it's not easy being the fastest man na nika na nataka ku emulate that one from him so i'm good up but you need to work extra hard so ananipatia hiyo feeling ya work hard work hard work hard work hard then uh, nikianza na athletes uh, wase wa rugby wase any any person taking uh, part in sports mimi ta deliver uh, na nime come to understand what hard work is how hard you, you have to work for you to get your best times because kila kitu kwa idini is all about time how fast you can do it so naambiwa sasa pia ma fans sasa waangusha venye progress imeanza hivi itazidi kuenda itazidi kushikisha hiyo time na you never know maybe hata hii mwaka yenyewe ndio rushi hata nine hapo ndani you never know i have that confidence kenye najua i need to do is work on my training na kila kitu takuwa poa so wale wase wana wana watch uh, ndio wase pia wana ni push because niko na ma fans pia kadhaa wenyewe Daily wana ni call eh diaje champion tizi mekuaje au ndo wasipewa na ni push na mimi nawaambia sasa waangusha nitazidi ku set hizo matime nitazidi kusaidiana na nyinyi pia mali mko pia mputio efforts 
it doesn't matter mali uko hata kama ni athletics ama in life ama kwa kitu yote una do you just have to put in the work nyenda tengeneza show mafanzuri tu yes